Imagine getting a pill which can transfer your mind into the future. Well, I can already see the comments that they would use to get rich. To be honest, even I would. So let me share with you a mind-boggling story of three people who used this invention to get rich. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. The movie opens and we see some armed men capturing a scientist. They inject him with some weird device and his eyes start glowing. A glowing orb appears before him and greets him. He is confused and asks what is happening. The orb tells him that he's been injected with a consciousness communication device invented at their organization. It is revealed that someone is talking from the other side. He tells him that he is searching for a man who knows about Project Z+. Basically Project Z Plus is a pill, which destroys the laws of time, and a person can swap his consciousness with his tomorrow self. He then shows a picture of a man named Dr. J, who is believed to be dead. Scientist explains he used to work with him but not anymore. Suddenly armed men find research notes of J, where he learns about Dr. J's test subjects. Scene shifts and we see three blindfolded thieves come into a van. They set the timer for one hour. Their leader, Lee, takes out a small box which can be opened with an eye scanner. He then takes out three pills and hands them to two of his partners, Finn and Martin. As they take the pill their consciousness travels to the next day. However their eyes turn purple. Finn then comes in a van and greets them saying welcome to the tomorrow. Their mission is to infiltrate an office building and grab the secrets. Lee and Martin wear contact lenses to cover their purple eyes. They sneak into the office building as cleaning staff. They then come inside the storage room and tell Finn that they are ready. She then goes to a store near the office building and triggers the fire alarm. Everyone starts evacuating. Lee and Martin then come into the CEO's cabin. Martin quickly remembers the code written on the board. Suddenly Finn notices some armed men following her. She runs away from the van and informs them that they are getting ambushed. However, Lee and Martin get confronted by one of the armed men. They somehow trick the man and Lee puts him to sleep using a tranquilizer dart. They quickly tell her to hijack a car using her hacking device. After doing her thing she regroups with them. However, their one hour time is running out. So they go to a safe spot and close their eyes. They come to the present time and quickly go to a safe spot to discuss what exactly went wrong. Martin is frustrated and he hands him the code which he memorized in the office. Even Finn is scared because of those men. Lee assures them that everything will be fine and goes to his car. But even he is frustrated. He then goes to his RV house and checks his stock of those Z plus pills. He remembers the first time taking those pills, where a mysterious voice tells Lee that what he saw was tomorrow. Next day he gives the information to the person who hired them. Then Lee and Martin go to the place where they got transferred yesterday. Their consciousness swaps with their yesterday self. Finn then greets them saying welcome to yesterday. Their eyes have turned green now. Lee tells them that as soon as they go back in their present they need to escape from the city. As the one hour mark approaches, they get prepared and come back to the present. Finn quickly starts driving and they manage to leave the city. However, they get stopped by the armed men's car. Finn quickly turns around and changes direction. But their car brakes got locked because of an error in the carjacking device. Lee and Finn quickly get out of the car and start running. However, the door automatically locks and Martin gets stuck in the car. The car approaches. One of the armed men asks a person sitting in the car. He is not the person they are searching for, so they just delete Martin and take his body. Lee and Finn witnessing all this get shocked. They are having a hard time believing that one of their companions just got deleted. Few weeks goes by and Lee has a dream about his brother. Six years prior, his brother was suffering from a critical illness. Lee started doing these risky jobs just to make some money for the treatment. He wakes up from the dream and starts doing his daily things. He is clearly unmotivated and has lost the interest to do any work. On the other side the leader of the organization asks his subordinate to force Lee to work again. He believes that Lee is key to everything. Lee then gets a call from the subordinate and he threatens him to work for them again. He quickly contacts Finn and asks her to meet him urgently. She is shocked at how the organization was able to find their names and addresses. Finn had told Lee to get rid of pills. Now the question comes, why haven't they deleted them yet? Well, we didn't destroy the pills and kept it hidden. They are left with no option but to agree for the job. Their new task is to get 14 account numbers from some rich people. But there is just one problem, their photographic memory person Martin is no more. So they have to find another fodder for the job. Lee then goes to meet his friend Danny, who's into a legal business. Lee has taken some money from Danny in the past but hasn't paid yet. He then asks for another fodder and promises to pay double the money after doing this final job. Danny is a little frustrated knowing about Martin's situation, but informs him about a college girl. Her name is Sophia and she is a debt collector. She has a very good photographic memory and one of the best to be exact. Lee starts following her. However she notices him and confronts him. He then gives him a job proposal and hands her a Z plus pill. He asks her to search it online and meet him tomorrow. She goes home and searches for the pills on the internet. She learns that many people are giving their theories that it can make you travel in time. A crazy scientist named Dr. J invented these pills and reports say that he is dead. But there are speculations that he is still alive somewhere and hiding using those pills. 
On the other side we see the same person who ordered to delete Martin. It is revealed that all of his armed men are taking serum form of these Z pills. But it is unstable and it results in serious mental issues. Next day, Sophia meets Lee and asks about the pills and why he gave her one. They then go to a nearby cafe where he explains that the one he gave it to her is fake. Lee then explains to her how the pills work. It basically swaps your consciousness to your tomorrow self for an hour. But there is a catch. When you swap your consciousness with tomorrow self, your eyes turn purple. And similarly when you get swapped with yesterday's self, it turns green. He then tells her about the job where she has to remember 14 bank accounts of some rich people. She is both intrigued and suspicious about this, but she agrees. Meanwhile, Finn starts following a person named Simon. He is a programmer and oversees the transactions of basically all these 14 people. On the way, Lee tells her that the pill was originally created as a serum but it was more lethal so the doctor made it into pill form. Then he tells her that to avoid any change in timeline they limit their knowledge. So they basically do these jobs in moving vehicles so that their future self cannot alter anything. Finn is in charge of getting into the place by hacking, and Sophia will be their Fodic, who will remember all the account numbers. Finn then tells them about Simon who oversees all their target's transactions. So they make a plan to get into his house and steal the information through his laptop. Later they get into the van, set the timer and get ready for their heist. They then take the pill and come tomorrow. Finn quickly dresses as a delivery girl and rings the bell to Simon's house. She acts like he didn't answer the door and tries to leave. Simon notices her and goes to the front to get her attention. Meanwhile, Lee and Sophia sneak into his house and get all the account numbers. However, the armed men's car comes again and they capture Simon. The same man from before comes out of their car and tells his men to delete Simon. But Lee shoots them with the tranquilizer darts. Simon runs away and Lee intercepts him and orders him to go with Sophia. He then goes to confront the man, but he attacks Lee. He somehow manages to escape. Meanwhile, Sophia and Simon get into Finn's van and they escape. Simon is confused about what is happening. Finn then sees that they are being followed by Lee's car, which is impossible. Time is running out, so they reach the safe spot and get ready to go back to the present. When they open their eyes, they realize that they are at Lee's RV house. Lee quickly goes inside and realizes that the time travel pills are missing. They start brainstorming about what must have happened and how they are in the house from the moving van. Finn informs Lee about his car following them, which shocks him. With no option left, they just decide to leave it until tomorrow. Lee is clearly frustrated and doesn't know what is happening. He goes to meet Danny at his bar but encounters a beautiful woman. He then goes to the bathroom where she follows him. She injects him with the consciousness communication device and leaves. Lee's eyes start glowing and the orb starts talking to him. The leader of the organization tells him that he wants the pills and asks him to hand them over if he wants payment for their job. Next day, the team gets ready near Simon's house and they swap consciousness with their yesterday self. Lee quickly climbs on the moving truck and takes control. He wants to hide the pills because he suspects that it might get stolen. They quickly come to his house and hide the pills. With five minutes remaining, they get into their position where they were yesterday. However the man from earlier shows up, so they go hide inside. The man then tells them to hand over the pills and in return they will give him Martin. Yeah, apparently Martin is still alive. This shocks everyone and Lee quickly goes outside. He asks about who the man is, and he tells him that his name is Derek. He was also a test subject to the Z-Serum experiment just like Lee. He then hands him the pills in exchange for Martin and Derek just leaves. They have now 30 seconds left, but something is odd. Lee's car is still here. So Lee asks Martin to quickly go in his car and meet them tomorrow. Time runs out, and they come back to the present. It is then revealed that the following car was Martin and everyone happily greets him. Finn then asks Martin how he survived. It is revealed that Martin was never deleted. He then tells them that all of Derek's men take the Z serum and that's why they manage to track them. Derek is basically a mafia who is hired by someone. Now the question is, who hired him? Simon then reveals that Derek is his client, but he never met him. He then tells them that Derek has a big transaction scheduled for this week. In other words, he is going to sell the pills. There is just one thing, why didn't he delete them yet? They realize that Derek is also after the inventor of the pills, and only Lee knows his whereabouts. But there's just one problem, Lee stole the bag of Z pills and ran away in the past. Lee then decides to meet Dr. J and make a plan to trap Derek. They reach Jay's hideout and he is not happy to see Lee. They tell him the situation but Jay can't help them, since he has only one pill left. Finn then hands Martin the sensors which will help them to detect if any car comes near the cabin. That night, Jay says sorry to Lee for the experiments he did on him. Lee is a little frustrated because he lost everything because of those pills. We see his past, where he tried to win the lottery using pills, but it resulted poorly because his mind couldn't comprehend the timeline shift. He didn't even remember that his brother died. Jay asks him to stop using the pills and Lee explains that this is his last quest. Next day, everyone starts brainstorming ideas because they suspect that Derek and his men will come tomorrow. They come up with a plan to send Martin into the future. So that future Martin who will come in the present can counter Derek. 
However, there is just one problem. If they are dead tomorrow, then Martin will get stuck in the limbo and will lose his mind. Still, they are ready to take this chance. So Lee hands him the remaining pill. Simon's role is to stop the transaction between the person who hired him and Derek, but for that he needs to be in at least one mile radius of Derek. As Lee and Jay are talking outside, they get surprised seeing Derek coming early. Jay, thinking quickly, takes a different pill which will kill him in 30 minutes. Jay then greets Derek and says sorry to him for experimenting on him, but Derek just ignores him. Now the question is, how did Derek come so early? It turns out, Martin betrayed them, and he tells Derek that he has the last pill. Everyone is shocked because their plan just failed. However, Jay then informs Derek that he has taken the different pill, which will delete him in 30 minutes. He has hid the antidote 20 minutes away from his house. But Derek has to let everyone go. Derek is in a dilemma. He wants the doctor alive. He gets angry and shoots Lee. Then he tells everyone to get in the cabin, while he, Doctor and Martin go retrieve the antidote. Derek then calls the leader of the organization and tells him that he has pills and the scientist. Yeah, the leader is the one who hired Derek. However, the leader tells him that, unless he sends the photo of the scientist with the antidote, he won't transfer the amount to Derek. At the cabin, Finn somehow takes down the armed man. They get in the van and try to reach Derek, so that they can revert the transaction. On the other side, Derek reaches the location and asks his minion to go search for it. However, the antidote is secured with an eye scanner. So Derek tells Martin to stay in the car and takes Jay to retrieve the antidote. Jay then finally takes the antidote. On the other side, Simon and others reach close enough to do their job. Derek sends the picture of Jay with the antidote to the leader and he initiates the transaction. Simon starts intercepting the transaction. The leader is happy that he finally got everything, but he suddenly gets a call and it turns out Lee. The leader is surprised about how he is alive. Lee then asks about their actual plan to which he says that he wants to control the world and its outcome. Six months ago he received Jay's test subjects list. He could have easily deleted Lee but he thought to make use of him to make some money. Lee he then laughs and tells him that all the money he sent is already in his bank account. On the other side, Simon is successful in diverting the money. The leader then calls Martin and tells him to take Jay and run away. However, the car is locked by the hacking tool. The leader is surprised and asks him, how did he pull this off? Scene shifts to yesterday night, when Sophia starts suspecting Martin and his story. Finn then sees from the security camera that Martin never installed the sensors. So Lee then gives the pill to Sophia and she swaps with the future self. The future self then tells her about getting shot in every detail. Lee then wore the bulletproof jacket. He pretended to be dead and took out the armed man. He then dressed up as the armed man and installed the hacking tool at the car. He even faked digging for the antidote box. Lee then finally reveals himself and takes down Derek with his tranquilizer dart. While on the other hand, Martin is getting frustrated because he is stuck in the car with the bulletproof windows. Jay and Lee finally run away. After some time Derek wakes up and frees Martin. He realizes that the pill Lee gave him was fake. On the other side everyone regroups and Jay decides to run away from the world and settle somewhere on a deserted island. Others decide to leave the job and get rid of the pills so he hands them to Finn. Danny gets a message saying that Lee has paid his debt and buys a boat from him. Finn never destroys the pills. They start using the pills for better things like enjoying their life rather than stealing. There you have it, recap of a sci-fi movie called, The Tomorrow Job. As usual, do like and subscribe for more amazing recaps. We will see you in the next video, see ya.